Hey, have you ever needed to extend a line to meet up with other sketch entities or maybe extend some of those other things like splines, arcs, or just complete a sketch that has little gaps? That's where the extend tool comes in. Let's take a look at it. So here I am in Fusion 360. I need to be editing a sketch in order to use the extend tool. I'll come down to my existing sketch and double click. That lets me edit the sketch. I'll come up to modify and under modify you've got extend when you click this this is going to allow you to finish off some geometry when you hover over the piece or the line just like in trim where it gives you the red preview you also can choose to extend instead of trim so i'm going to extend this click it and now it finished it what's important to note is it actually is going to close this off for a nice closed profile. So when I use the extend, try again, I'll click it. It is adding a coincident relationship down at this corner. So pretty cool that it can help you close off your sketches. Now, you may have seen in some of my other videos where I'll draw a line across my sketch when I'm having problems. I do need to make sure the profile is checked so that it gives me this blue profile showing me where it's working and where it's not on the left there's a problem i don't know what it is i keep dragging the line it looks like there's something over here maybe you notice that big <laughs> endpoint sticking out that can be a clue sometimes when we zoom in it didn't quite finish and this could be another good candidate for the extend so we'll choose extend click to finish this it finishes off this sketch adds the appropriate constraint and now i have a nice closed profile that i can use now what about some other more complex examples or just slightly more complex right so now let's look at some some other examples so what about the arc command if we go to extend we choose this arc it wants to complete the arc back into a full circle but what's interesting, and I was playing around with the extend tool earlier, and I was pretty surprised on the behavior on this example. Let's look pretty closely at it. What didn't surprise me was maybe this one, right? I could see how maybe they can meet, even though this isn't closed off, it doesn't provide a termination point yet. I think Fusion 360 is willing to interpolate that it eventually, if it was lengthened, they would meet up. So same goes for this horizontal line. This is where they could extend. But what shocked me was this one. Look how far that goes. So when I click it, it draws this huge line because this potentially could extend. And this part's kind of funny too, is it's giving me a short extension first. I click it, it extended a little bit. I still, I think maybe it's meeting up with this line first. Okay, that actually does make a little bit of sense, good. And then you click it again, it extends all the way. We could extend the bottom and extend this out. And pretty cool. We've now got this, you know, larger sketch design from the extend tool. And just a friendly reminder, trim is pretty helpful. And they can go together well, where you can click and drag over the things that you don't want. Now, what about spline tools? This one's kind of cool. So when I go to extend, it will let you extend the spline if it terminates on something. But what's cool is it's adding another spline point and control handle. So it's extending the spline. It's not adding another line or a solid line, but instead it's actually extending that geometry. The other thing I want to mention was how do you access the extend tool we talked about? It's under modify. If you hit S for your shortcut menu, S for shortcut, S for search, however you remember it, you can type in extend, but you'll notice there's there are a couple options here. There's this extend that's orange. That's the surface command. You definitely don't want to confuse those. That's for surfaces. This one's for sketch. If you would like for it to be a part of your shortcut menu, just hover over and choose this little arrow. It'll add it right on so you can use it whenever you like. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. We're making our way through these Fusion 360 features. I'll see you in the next video.